Hi guys, uh, today I thought I'd try to make um, some homemade, I guess you'd call it canned food, kind of like the canned dog food. I don't buy canned dog food, but I'm going to boil this whole chicken. I got this from Aldi's. It's a six pound whole chicken, cost me $5.92. And after I boil the chicken, I'm going to mix in some green beans and carrots. These are both low sodium. I'm also going to drain them and rinse them really good. And then I'm going to puree it into my food processor to kind of make my own canned dog food for my dogs so they can get a little bit more extra vitamins, protein, all that good stuff. After I boil this, I'm going to um, take the skin off and debone the chicken. Um, this is my first time doing this. Never done it before. Um, so I thought I'd videotape it and bring you along as I do it and see how it turns out and see how the dogs like it. Okay, I have gotten all the giblets out of the inside of the chicken and rinsed it off. And now I'm going to cover this with water and get it to a boil. And YouTube videos I've watched, I think it says 30 to 45 minutes or to the, uh, meat is fall apart off the bone. I've never boiled a chicken before, so this is a first time for me. But I'm going to cover this with water. I'm not going to put any kind of seasonings in it. Just boil it and get this going. Okay, my chicken is boiling. It just started, so I'm going to set my timer. I'm going to check it in 40 minutes. And also, I've changed my mind on the canned vegetables. I'm, even though they're low sodium and I can rinse them, they're still going to have salt in them. So I'm not going to use those. I have a bag of no sodium, fat free green beans. So I'm just going to do chicken and green beans. It's going to be very basic since this is my first time doing this for my dogs. It's going to be a basic recipe and you can add tons of other stuff. Rice, apples, carrots, um, potatoes, all kinds of stuff. But like I said, this is a learn as I go video. I've never done this before. But I started thinking about it and I don't want anything with sodium. So I'm not going to use those canned vegetables. I'm just going to use these green beans that I have and go from there. I'll be back when the chicken's done. Okay guys, my chicken is out of the boiling water. And if you notice, my skin is coming away from the meat. So I think that's a telltale sign that my chicken must be done. It's falling all by itself off the bone. So here you go. I'm going to get this deboned and be right back. Actually, I'm going to let it cool off first, then debone. Okay, I'm working away at getting my chicken deboned. And now I'm going to boil my green beans just for a little bit. And saving my chicken broth for chicken noodle soup. So this is a two for one. So I'm gonna boil these um, green beans just for a couple minutes. And I'm thinking I'm gonna use some of the chicken stock uh, to use when I mix up the chicken in my food processor um, for some extra flavor. So I'll get those going. And we'll be back. Okay, I got my chicken, which this is not all of the chicken um, that came off of my chicken I boiled. I saved some for chicken noodle soup later on this weekend and then some green beans. So I'm going to dump all of this into my food processor. See if I can do this one handed. Oh boy, I'm dropping it on the counter. Let me cut away and let me dump all my chicken, clean up my counter, dump in um, my green beans, and I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm going to scoop up a little bit of the chicken stock to put into my food processor to give it a little bit of liquid to get it all blended nicely. I'm going to do a half a cup. Just 
try that out first. See if we need any more after. Like I said, first time doing this. I'm just going to pulse it. Okay, here's what it looks like right now. Green beans are still a little chunky, so I think I'm gonna let this go a little bit more. Just like um, canned dog food, it's kind of like a, I'm going for like the pureed um, type of style canned food. So I'm gonna stir this up a little bit and do it a little bit. Okay more. guys, I have two and a half, I'd say containers. They're not all the way full of the chicken and the green beans. Let me see if I can get a close up. The camera will. Well, the lighting in here is not very good, but this is what it looks like. It's kind of like a pureed, not totally pureed. Doesn't have tons of liquid in it, but um, I figure this will last. I'm gonna freeze one. I'm gonna use this tonight. Probably not all of it, so I'll probably put some of this in one of these containers. Keep one in the fridge. Freeze one. Um, this will last a couple days. It's not going to go. I didn't use all the chicken. I saved some of the chicken and the green beans in the stock for chicken noodle soup. So I could have had a lot more of this made um, if I used all the chicken and all my green beans. So um, let me see. Let's do a taste test. Get a little piece. No, no. Just from Marley right now. bit for someone else here, Matt. Oh my. Yes. <laughs> it's not very graceful eating off a spoon. Okay. Miggy? No. Get? You already had some. Marley? No. Miggy's turn. Okay. Let's try Mozzie. No, it's Mozzie's. No, Max. Mozzie, your beer's a little wild today. Well, they all ate it. Didn't spit it out. They want more. So I think I'll use this on top of my um, dry dog food. Just to give them a little bit something different. I, like I said, I do not buy canned dog food because I don't know what's in it. So I thought, why don't I try to make something my own? It's just chicken and green beans. No seasoning, no nothing. Just plain. So maybe next time I'll try to be a little more adventurous and add a couple other ingredients um, to the mixture. But if you guys make your own dog food, um, let me know and leave, tell me how you make yours in the comments below. I'm really interested. I really want to start doing this more and more. So thanks guys for watching and thanks for coming along with me while I try this out and changed my mind on some stuff. But I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Say bye. Say bye. They really need their beards washed. <laughs> bye, kitty. Hmm, I wonder if the kitty likes some. Let's see, there's a little bit on this one. No, let's see if the kitty likes it. We gotta do a test, test, taste test for the kitty. I'm always licking it. Maybe kitty would like some on his. Oh yeah, he likes it too. Maybe Kitty would like some on his dinner tonight. You think? Okay guys, bye. Okay, I uh, figured I better add in me giving them their dinner. Here it is, I'll mix them with their dry kibble. No, Max, <laughs> Max! Wow, he's never done this before. They always wait for their own bowl. <laughs> no kitty, that's not yours. I better give the kitty his. I put a little bit in the kitty bowl too. Come here, kitty, kitty. Come here, kitty, 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 kitty. There's yours, kitty. Oh, he's
gets excited too. Huh? Looks like they're all eating it down. I think he's doing his, well, he was doing his circles around his bowl. Is it good? Good look, yes, Mom. Shut up. Let us eat. <laughs> See how the kitty's doing. Oh yeah. Kitty's really liking it too. 